with some shocking proof today that parts of Montreal's infrastructure are literally crumbling around us. The huge sinkhole opened up this morning on St. Catherine Street, a hole big enough to swallow a backhoe. It's a massive hole reaching from sidewalk to sidewalk in Ottawa's busy downtown core. A broken pipe forced gushing water into the sinkhole, causing it to grow. A sinkhole is uh, usually a pretty steep walled hole that opens up when uh, material has been removed from underneath the surface and then the surface collapses into it. And so normally the that process of removal is due to dissolution. So like when rainwater runs through cracks in a rock, if that rock is dissolving into the rainwater as it percolates down or is lost from the city plumbing systems through leaks in the pipes, and that water can move underneath the ground and create um, voids. And then when it collapses from the surface down into the hole, that creates a sinkhole. The natural factors that contribute to sinkholes, I would say Ottawa, Montreal, Quebec City are in, all have the same kind of geology underneath that contributes to this. Beautiful gray limestone. You've seen it used in facings on lots of the buildings. It has some small fossils in it. Um, and it is susceptible to dissolution, particularly by rainwater. Limestone dissolves, especially in water that has a low pH, slightly acidic, and our rainwater is slightly acidic. Montreal also has a cool cavern system, and it's because of the exact same processes. This is a major discovery we made. This is this doesn't happen many times in, in a lifetime. We did about a hundred meters. It's just beautiful. There's five meters of water underneath, and it keeps going. We haven't reached the end yet. C'est passé quelque chose au stade McGill. Je tiens à préciser que plusieurs des artefacts qu'on a déterrés avaient aucun lien avec le sujet de ma recherche. J'ai regroupé ces artefacts dans un chapitre intitulé Découverte accidentelle. The operator of this backhoe got the shock of his life after the ground opened up and swallowed him and his machine. He was there to dig a small hole to investigate reports of a water leak. If water is leaking from an underground pipe, that does enhance the potential for sinkholes. No water system is perfect. There's always going to be, as we know in Montreal, there's lots of repairs that are done to respond to um, problems with leakage. Oh, for God's sake, stop. Stop for a moment and see how our children and grandchildren would live in Montreal. We try to in investigate uh, all the problems, but you know, we've, we, we've been so late uh, over the last 40 years that we can't secure every corner. There was some excavation happening here last uh, year. They should have discovered it. We cannot prescribe the ground it's giving to us and sometimes come with surprises. So uh, we are doing our best to forecast this kind of situation. In the U.S., a house completely was swollen by, by, by the ground. And the person was in his bedroom and completely disappeared. He could not recover the body. Regular maintenance of our roads and the infrastructure, that will help to eliminate or reduce this kind of situation. The problem with underground erosion is largely that it's very hard to see from the surface until it's actually pretty far advanced. So um, when we were dealing with a city that was built up, you know, a lot of the inner city at least was built up 100 years ago and they didn't have the technologies then to, to anticipate these problems, we're kind of stuck in a response mode. of connection between the pipe coming from a building and a sewer was broken. There's a lot of effort we're doing to prevent uh, by doing some proactive action to prevent the sinkhole. That being said, uh, of course there are sinkholes a few times a year. Each year we listen to all of the 23,500 fire hydrants we simply, we put it like this on the fire hydrant and we listen to the noise. If we hear a hissing-like sound, it may indicate us that there's a leak. 
So this is just the background noise of the fan here. We have to locate this leak because let's imagine you're on the ground here. So you use the two sensors of the leak noise correlator and you place it on each side of the suspected leak. This uh, aging in in infrastructures, two thirds of the water network is more than 50 years old. So yes, it's, it is aging and we uh, detect between uh, 700 and 800 leaks per year. At the city of Montreal, we're using new materials such as PVC to replace uh, old water pipe made with cast iron. There is less corrosion uh, due to the salt that we're using during the winter, of course. Cast iron is strong and flexible, but it does rust with time. So it, there's a uh, an expiry date on a cast iron water supply system. And so in order to prevent that causing sinkholes, replacement is required. The car got gobbled up by the sinkhole, not only a car, but a street light. Workers had to drain the water out of the hole, and now there's a lineup of trucks pouring cement into the sinkhole. There's an investigation that's ongoing to find out exactly what caused the road to collapse, the second sinkhole in downtown Ottawa in recent years.